everyone, welcome back to my channel. Brenda Summers here, Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back if you're new and welcome back if you're not. Today we're diving into a small mini haul, a very small mini haul. It's a birthday gift for my granddaughter. She turned seven this March, March 29th. Um, even though she's physically seven, she's really not seven. She's special needs. What had happened was she was born fine. Um, perfectly fine, healthy. Um, she was hitting all the milestones up until um, not quite her first birthday. And then she ended up getting um, a virus in her brain, which at the time in 2018 was very rare. Her and another child in Japan were the only two that were known to have this. And this was really, really bad because she kept going into seizures every five minutes and she did that for two weeks the doctors had her on all kinds of medications um, epileptic seizure medications and that and nothing seemed to help her temperature kept rising it was like 105 106 and they weren't expecting her to survive so it was a really devastating time for my family and for my um son's daughter um so it was really, really awful. Finally, for some reason, she pulled out of it, but there was damage. She was paralyzed on her, I think, right side, and she can't speak. Now that um, she's almost seven, she's gone through a lot of therapy, and she's starting to recognize the fact that she has a hand before. Um, she didn't realize that she had a hand, and she didn't recognize that this part of the body um, was hers. And so um, the speech side of the brain, I believe was the right, right or left, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, that controls, I think the right side and speech were um, affected. So um, she talks through sign language, she talks through like a, um, a tablet, um, so you know exactly what she's thinking and that she just can't verbalize stuff. So anyways, her big thing is getting around to my point is she's doing well. She's actually toilet trained now, which is nice. We never thought that she would ever be toilet trained, but she's toilet trained. So she's coming along, but who knows if she'll be able to verbalize. She's starting to recognize the fact that her one hand is part of her body. She's starting to use it and, and whatnot. But to get back to my whole point was this birthday gift is she's into puppies and she just lights up whenever she sees a real puppy or a stuffed puppy. So when the um, 101 Dalmatians collection came out, we thought um, that would be wonderful because look at the eyes. Like, she'll just light up as soon as she sees that. She'll just go, puppy, puppy, puppy. And she just um, can connect with puppies. So I think that's just wonderful. So the Dalmatian collection came out a couple of weeks ago. And I had to get Patch. Patch is so cute and adorable. So she'll love it. Um, just part of her seventh birthday um, present. So we're lucky and fortunate that she... Um, survived but without um you know with some problems but that's just the way life is and then here's the box and we know that she's going to love them so anyways i love them i want to get one and then look at look how cute that is so as soon as she opens up the box look at look at how cute patch is she's just going to light up because of the big eyes and the mouth and then it's just, it's so soft and adorable and just right up her alley. So, um, yeah, so she loves puppies. So, uh, the Dalmatian collection is still going and it's still on my website or your consultant's website along with the warmer. The warmer is really cute. And then it comes with a scent pack, which is really cute. Um, my son never puts the scent packs in because... Um, he's scared that she'll eat them or something. So like I said, even though she's seven, she's not a seven year old. Um, so anyways, she's kind of a couple years behind. And then, um, I bought for myself is the Disney 
um, wax bar. Look how colorful that is. So the puppy is hers. The, the wax bar is mine. And so the scent notes for this is it's Disney 101 um, Dalmatians Top Dog. Sweet Lily blooms on a walk in the park. Well, treats of apples and raspberry really get those tails wagging. So colorful packaging always. Oh, trying to get the right. And then there. And then so. And I really like it. It smells like lily. It smells like apple. Um, you're getting, I don't really smell raspberry per se, but it giving that sweet vibe but you're definitely getting the apple and the lily and it's a really really vibrant um, wax bar for a Disney scent I'm hoping that it warms a little bit um, stronger but it's a light to medium so I'm happy to say paid $8.50 for that patch um, the Sunsea Buddy was $46 so that wasn't too bad I don't mind um, getting it as a birthday gift so I'm just sneak peeking it and showing it to you. Uh, and then I ended up do, getting the Valentine's Day um, Sensi Bar bundle, finally. <laughs> Everybody else has probably reviewed it, but I'm late to the game, so better late than never. So the three bar, or the three pack of Valentine's Day um, wax bars, so I'll Put it in with this video so um, $23 Canadian for the three um, bar pack um, it includes I pick you perfectly cute and simply the zest so I've never smelt these these will be my first authentic sniffs same with this one this one is really good I've never smelt it until today so I could highly recommend you buying that even though it's a licensed bar it is a good bar it's light to medium, like I said, and you can smell all the scent notes, which is really nice. So, first one is simply the zest in the Valentine's Day collection. It's like a lighter, orangey kind of color. So, um, notes of sandalwood and lush greens, uplift bright tropical fruits. So, we will see. Ooh, you can get that tropical fruit. I really, really like that. I'm getting some sandalwood and lush greens, which isn't overpowering with the tropical fruit. So I really, really love this one. It's light to medium, so, and it's actually pretty good. I normally don't like sandalwood. I don't mind fresh as long as it um, goes with the vibe of the other um, scent notes. This is actually a good one. It's light to medium, um, so I could recommend that on cold. Um, perfectly cute is this one so it's kind of like a pinky orangey kind of color sorry um golden pear gets a glow up with the help of whipped vanilla and a sprint of apricot blossom so we shall see and that's what the wax bar looks like and then here's what it looks like okay to me i'm not getting those scent notes all I'm getting is the pear. Okay, I'm getting the vanilla. I'm not so much getting the apricot. This is really light though, um, compared to the simple, simply the zest. It's nice. This will hum in the background really, really nicely. It's not gonna be a wham bam in your face kind of scent. So if you like lighter scents, you're gonna like that. I, I can smell the golden pear. Um, the vanilla and I'm having a hard time smelling the apricot but like I said I think it'll be a really really good background scent so you don't always want your wax bars to be wham bam in your face but like me <laughs> they gotta be booming and then the last of this um, three part three bar pack everything is a tongue twister to me um, I have like um, speech impediment, so I have problems enunciating some of the um, consonants and stuff. So that's why sometimes it sounds like I'm slurring my words or whatnot. It's because, yeah, I do have a speech impediment. I've always had one. Um, I had to go to speech therapy as a kid. But anyways, that's just the way it is. I pick, yeah, I digress. I pick you. So it's this 
kind of um, kind of ready kind of wax kind of nice for Valentine's and this is still available even though if you bought it today tomorrow next week well next week you're not going to get it for Valentine's but it's still nice to have so red currant and honeysuckle nectar dance beneath stars white amber um, white amber let's hope Okay, to me, this is a perfumey kind of scent. It's like way, way overboard. <sighs> okay. I am getting the honeysuckle, but it's kind of bitter. The red currant, I think, is making the honeysuckle, which is normally sweet, kind of bitter, and the amber. So this is not one of my favorite scents from this three bar pack to me i'm going to just throw it in the corner like i always do and let it cure a little bit more to me it's like a a bad perfume gone wrong i smell burnt to this too <laughs> i smell burnt embers so to me this is a perfume gone wrong so i don't like this so sorry so yuck i pick you is not my favorite. I don't think I would ever buy another one. Um, Perfectly Cute is a good one. It's good for, for humming in the background. Really, really nice. This is my jam, Simply the Zest. I'd buy like a whole bunch of these. So this, out of this three bar pack, is the best. Second best. And then... <laughs> That's just... The way my nose is picking up scents today, and I'm always honest, and my face says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> so please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for all things coming up for me. You just never know. Surprise! What I'm going to post next. Um, also on the community tab, I have a question and answer sheet up. Um, I had asked a couple weeks ago for... Um, questions that you always wanted to ask me because I want to do a question and answer session in one of my mass Mondays or maybe I'll take a Tuesday and do question and answers. I didn't get too much feedback on that but if you wouldn't mind coming up with a question that you've always wanted to ask me but couldn't or was too shy or whatnot um, please go to my community tab and um, jot down a few questions if not, we'll just make do with what I have and we'll go from there. But anyways, thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me going over this rather small mini birthday kind of sensi haul. I hope you're having a great day. If not, I hope tomorrow is better for you. I hope you have a great rest of your week. If you're not having a good week, I hope next week is better. I know a lot of people, including myself, aren't having great weeks. Um, I had a meltdown the other day and yeah, it was not good. So <laughs> anyways, oops, anyways, I got through it. I'm here now. So, um, take care. Catch on the flip side. Bye for now.